1996, the Brisbane Bears and the Dockers were locked in a low-scoring encounter at the Gabba. Fremantle held a narrow lead before Sean Hart had this chance to score. They have gone mad here at the Gabba. In 2000, the Blues and the Power battled for supremacy at Football Park. When the final siren sounded, Carlton late by a point, but Peter Burgoyne had this shot for goal. This to win the game after the siren. Peter Burgoyne, he's done it! In 2005, the Saints and the Dockers fought it out at Subiaco Oval. Justin Longmuir thrilled the big crowd with this shot after the siren. In comes Longmuir to take his kick. Ice cool, ice cool. Fremantle have won after the siren. That. Way to go, Justin. In 2007, Port Adelaide led at every change against Geelong. Just as the power sent victory, the Cats hit the lead. Dominic Cassisi silenced the home crowd as the visitors triumph. Cassisi does with it. Oh, that's poor power. In 2010, Brent Harvey celebrated his 300-game milestone as North Melbourne triumphed over West Coast at Subiaco Oval. Vuma, what a blast. In 2012, Triple Premiership player Luke Power became the 66th man in AFL VFL history to achieve the milestone of 300 games. But his new side, GWS Giants, could not rise to the occasion, losing by 25 points at Monica Oval. There have been plenty of memorable highlights in this round. In 2006, Eddie Betts kicked the goal of the year against Collingwood. The goal! Goal of the year, Eddie! In 2010, Liam Jarrah took the mark of the year against Port Adelaide.